Hey guys, uh, this is video number two, and when I was uploading the last one to YouTube, I noticed a previous video that I had done uh, about seven or eight days ago here. And I don't ever go back and watch my videos. I just, you know, even when I'm preparing these videos, I don't spend a lot of time. Maybe it shows, uh, but as I'm going through the different charts that I go through, I just kind of set some aside, and that's, that's what I talk about. It's kind of like the theme for the next day that I... Uh, find interesting or feel it's noteworthy to point out you know I trade for a living so I don't have time to spend like uh, hour or two preparing and making sure everything's perfect but I did notice this video and it, and this one's it's a pretty prescient video uh, in it I talk about the uh, the you know the title expecting a bounce or a flash crash and I talk about how I think oil's going down bonds are going up TSX going down and that's pretty much exactly what happened and I'm only pointing this out because you know uh, it, it, it was so right you know lots of times everyone's always waiting to uh, point out when you're so when you're wrong and I just thought that this was pretty interesting I'll include the link but this day was the day that I did the video that would have been uh, this day so it did it, it bounced the next day and then it just fell out of bed you know 320 points later uh, the other interesting part to this video is, and uh, as I said, I'll include the link so you can go back and watch it if you're interested. If not, no big deal. USO was at 31.78 in that video, and I said that I'm expecting oil to pull back into the mid 60s, uh, which would have been about a 30, 32 percent haircut. So it's it's getting there. You know, it's, I think it's probably lost 15 percent. USO has lost 15 percent in the last seven eight days. I'm not sure, but. Uh, very very interesting to see to go back and see a video uh, that, that was so bang on now to the, the four charts that I wanted to point out and these are simply charts that are you know around the world uh, and uh, uh, many of these charts are the annotations that I've left on from a long time ago I don't go through the same charts every night kind of rotate and kind of go through different ones and I don't you know maybe once a week I'll go through the world charts but I had pointed out this negative divergence a long time ago, and I, we were in this channel essentially when we when we broke through that was when all hell broke loose and we basically went back to the uh, 10 uh, 2010 lows, and you know it's not a good sign in London and what's going on over there. You know I don't even know as if we're getting the full scoop, but I I don't expect this market to just bounce off these lows, turn around everything, happy dory. Uh, look at the negative DI. It's so high. Look at the last time that the negative DI was high with the rising ADX. It was just the start of something. So keep that in mind when you are out there trying to buy these dips. Uh, another, another chart, Tokyo, it's hanging on to this channel. Uh, a long time ago, I, I was basically... Uh, suggesting that we were going to retest the lows, that's still in play. It's, it's still in play, uh, m uh, more so than the chances of this thing breaking to the upside at this point. Uh, the RSI still hanging on, uh, but you know, throughout all of this move, it never was able to make it into the uh, positive, uh, it's the 70 area, which would indicate uh, future gains could be coming. So. You know, it's weak, you know, and we've had a lower high from here and a lower high from there. And we're just, as I said, we're just hanging on. The All Ordinaries, Australia's uh, stock market, I noticed this broadening pattern a long time ago. And it's, you know, I, I don't trade broadening patterns. It's, it's more or less just something to note. And uh, it's coming to fru fruition as well uh, so it's got more downside to go uh, again th this is like a theme all over the, this the negative di just really really rising again look at what happened the last time it was that high with a rising adx just the start of a uh, well this one literally a multi-year decline and then the last chart, real quick, is the Cospi. This has been one of the strongest indexes, and I noticed this negative divergence when it made the highs in what looks like April, May, and it's just been lights out. Uh, this, this, there's no telling exactly where the bottom might be on this one. So, uh, trade them well, guys.